the world's first 3D photo printing booth gives you the chance to become your own action figure. And Los Angeles proudly presents $500 caviar from a vending machine. Vsauce, Kevin here. This is Mind Blow. A graduate from Design Academy Eindhoven created a set of cutlery designed to stimulate more than just your sense of taste. Synesthesia is a neurological condition in which different stimuli such as touch, taste, and hearing are affected and triggered by each other. The different pieces explore the effects of color and various textures on the senses. Red colors are supposed to increase the appetite and various textures and shapes are intended to stimulate the sense of touch inside the mouth with the intention of enriching the eating experience. Scientists at MIT have created a tiny transformer. The Milimotin is a reconfigurable robot that can be programmed to fold itself into a number of different shapes. Another breakthrough with this robot is that after it has shifted into a new shape, it can hold that shape even when its power is cut off by using what they call an electro-permanent motor. They do say that there would need to be a lot of research as well as cheaper, more durable parts before a real-life transformer is created. Ski Dome Denmark is a vision of the world's biggest ski dome in the city of Randers, Denmark. Designed by a Danish architecture firm, the proposal includes over three kilometers of indoor and outdoor slopes, a freestyle park, hotel, restaurant, and shops. Resembling a snowflake, the structure consists of three centrally connected arches that each span the river. Each arch also uses its roof exterior to connect the city beyond skiing, such as the bottom arch having a rooftop of green landscape that would function as a raised city park. Who's hungry for a solid chocolate baby head? Speaking of chocolate, Cadbury invented its own melt-resistant chocolate that stays solid even when left at 104 degrees Fahrenheit for three hours. And it has to do with breaking the sugar particles into smaller pieces, reducing the amount of fat covering them, making it more resistant to heat. The Sea Explorer 5 aims to give people a chance to finally own a luxury submarine. For $2.4 million, you get seating for five, air conditioning, an audio system, LED lighting, and enough air, food, and water for up to 96 hours in the off chance you lose power. Made by U-Boat Works, their website boasts that it's the world's first subsea limousine and features a 360 degree acrylic pressure hull so everyone has a view. The first ever picture of tightly packed cords of DNA taken with an electron microscope. Litographs is bringing books back to the physical world by printing them on t-shirts. The first four designs are Alice's Adventure in Wonderland, On the Origin of Species, The Great Gatsby, and Moby Dick. The shirts contain all or most of the book depending on the size and the text is completely legible. They've already exceeded their Kickstarter goal, check out the website for more. Created in Japan, the BFS Auto can read books at 250 pages per minute, which equates to an Oxford Dictionary in just 10 minutes or an entire 32-volume set of Encyclopedia Britannica in about two hours. It achieves high-definition resolution at 400 pixels per inch and can compensate for the three-dimensional deformation of the paper while being flipped, giving it the ability to scan thousands of books quickly without damaging them. Basically, it's like Johnny Five from Short Circuit. Finally, here's a video from M.I.E. called Jammed about the demise of the audio cassette and the story of a Viewmaster robot venturing into an unknown world. I'm gonna leave you with Disney's prototype of a humanoid robot playing catch. And as always, thanks for watching.